What's up, guys? It's Mitch with SC Weather. Hope you all have had a great weekend. Uh, it's been a hot one, probably one of the hotter, hotter weekends of the uh, year for sure. Um, it, you know, the weather is, is there's not a whole lot going on right now, and I kind of anticipated this. You know, it just there's not a whole lot of diversity in the weather this time of the year. It's hot, it's humid, with occasional pop up storms, and there's not a whole lot else left to it unless you get a early season hurricane or something a tropical system so but let's get into it because we, we do have maybe a little weather to mention for tomorrow it's hot right now um, this is for early in the morning the NAM is kind of showing some storms from a short wave that's going to be coming from our um, our west that may give the state an opportunity for some maybe some strong storms tomorrow this is around 12 p.m. tomorrow it looks like the energy is going to pass over most of the state at the kind of not the hottest part of the day. So by the time we get to about 2 p.m., the energy and convection starts firing up in the PD and the coastal, northern coastal areas like the Myrtle Beach area, Florence area. Definitely that area. We need to watch out for some stronger storms um, tomorrow. Uh, some, some, some strong storms could definitely fire up. Uh, we kind of move into the three o'clock range. And you know, a lot of rain can fall under whoever gets rain. Um, it might be their last chance of rain for the next several days. So for us in the Midlands and the upstate, I think that uh, we'll mainly stay rain-free. Some, some isolated showers or storms may develop in the far uh, eastern parts of the Midlands. But other than that, I think that this is mainly the PD area, uh, kind of the eastern areas of the upstate maybe Chesterfield and those things like that. But we're getting to 5 p.m. We still have some storms around in the eastern parts of the state. And the coverage, I think they fire up pretty early. And then we'll have a chance of some redevelopment maybe later in the evening. And uh, so I got the circled area right there. And that is the area I'm watching the most for the, our part of the state. So if you live in that area um, and you know where, where you live on the map, um, you know, we need to watch out for some strong storms tomorrow, for sure, and especially the coastal the coastal plains of North Carolina uh, might be a little group of some some good strong storms tomorrow. And there's definitely a chance of severe storms. The National Weather Service um, has that area, some areas under the marginal risk. So, next story is the heat tomorrow. Hot, very humid. You know, it, it, it's hot, 93, 95. Columbia is yet to hit 95 unless they end up hitting it today, which I don't know if they have. But, man, Tuesday, check it out. It, it, GFS is showing over 100 in the southern parts of the state. don't know if that's going to verify, but uh, I doubt it will. But, um, nevertheless, it is going to be hot. It's going to be a very hot week. We're entering the, uh, the deepest part of summer, uh, the dog days of summer, I like to call it. And, um, man, it is just... This is, I'll be honest with you, this is the part of summer I don't really like too much. After you get past the 4th of July, for me, I'm over it. That's just too hot. Uh, July and August is always just too hot for me, personally. But Wednesday, another hot day. All day we're going to be in the mid, all week is what I meant, we're going to be in the mid-90s. This is Thursday, still hot. It looks the exact same. You know, it don't really change much. Um, so, <clears throat> It's hot, guys. You know, it's that part of the year you don't really get break unless you get under an intense thunderstorm that really dramatically cools it down. And uh, that's it. There's just there's just not a lot of weather going on. And uh, this is honestly a point where it's hard for me to grow my, grow my pet platforms like like YouTube and stuff like that. So um, one thing I do want to mention is the dew points for let's talk about tomorrow. This is tomorrow, and then Tuesday, heat indexes tomorrow are going to be over a hundred. Um, for a lot of areas, and especially as we get into Tuesday. I think Tuesday has a real chance to hit, some of the places might hit 105 for the heat index. So, man, it is it's not only hot in the mid-90s for air temperatures, it's over 100 in the heat index. And like I said, it's just that time of the year. Weather's kind of boring right now, guys. Um, unless we get some stronger storms tomorrow, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. We are getting closer to the ramp up of hurricane season. I'm watching that, so uh, please subscribe, guys. This is a slow uh, slow time for me, so it's hard for me to grow, so I'd appreciate it if y'all subscribe where y'all watching. Um, give my page a like, Twitter follow. Y'all are awesome. Y'all have really supported me through all this, and I've had a lot of growth this year. Y'all have a blessed evening.